All right, time now is 1230 here at the KFYR Plus News Desk. And joining me today, I've got Sarah Kelsch, Marketing Director with the Bismarck Cancer Center, and Heather Nelson, the Marketing and Events Coordinator for McQuaid Distributing. We are talking 8th Annual Boxers and Beer Charity Event. Good afternoon, ladies. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Great. Well, listen, thank you both for joining me. Heather, let's start with you, and let's uh, talk about uh, what inspired the idea for Boxers and Beers. You're now in your eighth year, and, uh, and quite a successful charity event this is for the community. Um, what inspired it? Well, as you know, uh, Boxer Bras had been around for many years, and I kept thinking, why are we not doing anything that is male-focused? And also, I thought it would be super fun to do an event that um, we got to see men up on the runway starting their stuff in boxers. So that was uh, what I approached Sarah with. I actually had called her like in January eight years ago and said, hey, can you meet me at Ground Round? I have a beer. I have an idea. And she was like, oh, sure. And we um, hard launched it real quickly because obviously the event happened in April. So we had about two months to plan for it. And I'm lucky enough to work at McQuaid Distributing where Shannon is awesome about um, allowing us. This is what we do. We sell beer for a living, but we also raise money in the community and support community events. So that is where we came up with the idea. And like you said, for the last eight years, it's just been an amazing event that um, we've been able to raise money for the Bismarck Cancer Center Foundation. Yes, you have. Sarah, can you tell us a little bit about the uh, Bismarck Cancer Center and uh, and the work it does now for the community? Absolutely. So we are a radiation treatment facility, um, but in, in addition to treating patients in our 250-mile um, radius, we provide wraparound services uh, for patients currently going through treatment or um, even some for survivors. So our two most popular services are patient housing. We have 23 patient housing units. We do gas cards. We have massage therapy, physical therapy. We have a dietitian on staff, emotional and spiritual support. We have yoga classes, art therapy. Uh, we started pet therapy last year. So we're just constantly trying to figure out how to wrap our arms around those retreat and their family and just take care of them in all ways. And how does this event, Sarah, directly help the Bismarck Cancer Center? Well, this is one of our most successful events, and I have to say probably one of our most fun events as well. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's just a really fun night, and, you know, 80,000, 90,000 makes a huge difference um, for, for those retreat and for our programs. Uh, we really, you know, it just is so important to our foundation. Absolutely. Heather, let's talk about the event itself. How many models you got signed up this year and explain how the event works out for those that may have not been a part of it in years past. Sure. If you have not been in the event, I think right now we probably have 26 models. So we are still looking for a couple more. So Jay, we can still add you to the list. We have plenty of time. There's I think still I'm time busy for you to get on, on the list. Uh, oh. I'm busy on Thursday, <laughs> April 18th. I apologize. Uh, of course you are. <laughs> if you have not been, it's a super fun event, like she said. Um, what it is, is the night starts out. We're actually adding a happy hour this year. So we're going to do a happy hour upstairs in the TR Lounge. Just a fun night where we get people. Obviously, there is alcohol involved, so there is sampling going on from McQuaid Distributing. Um, we do Rock the Lock up there where you could win some possible bottles, and then we're going to get you downstairs. The models start walking around about 6.15. Um, like I said, McQuaid Distributing boys are awesome. They come out and they do some sampling of the product. Um, Broadway does some appetizers for us. We do have a silent auction that will launch actually before the night of the event. So even if you are unable to make the event this year but would love to contribute to it, you can certainly bid on some silent auction items. And then the night of, we'll do the live auction, which is where um, models such as yourself, Jay, if you were to agree, mm -hmm. would get up on the runway and you wear these uh, boxers that individuals and businesses have created for us with super fun themes, um, different music that they get up on stage and whether they dance to it, you know, do fun stuff to get the audience involved. And then a lot of times we have auction items that go with the pair of boxers, too. Yeah, absolutely. And one of the great things about it is that each year you share a survivor story. Yeah, I mean, we try to share stories throughout um, throughout leading up to the event. We haven't always had a survivor in hand, but it's hard to find male survivors who are willing to get up and share their story in such a rowdy yeah. night. But we try to promote at the event different statistics for male cancers and just bring awareness to, I mean, I think um, breast cancer always gets so much attention. Just we like to try to bring it back home that, the, you know, there's lots of males fighting testicular and other uh, male cancers as well. Sure. Sarah, over the past seven years, the event has raised near $378,000 for the Bismarck Cancer Center. The community really has gotten behind this event, hasn't it? 
They really have. Um, we've got a, a good group of people who come out every year um, waiting to see what the next, you know, creativity um, brings. And um, I honestly think people have never laughed so hard as <laughs> at our boxers and beer event. There's um, the guys are such good sports. Um, you know, the crowd gets a little rowdy, but it's all in good fun. Yeah. Heather, this event is a success uh, due in large part to McQuaid Distributing and their support. How can somebody help? I think you mentioned just a moment ago, or if they'd like to donate, they cannot attend the event on the 18th. Can they still maybe uh, make a donation or, uh, like you said, maybe bid on some of the items online? Yes, absolutely. We actually will have a QR code. So if you are not able to make it that night, or like you said, would just like to make a donation, or even the night of if you come to the event and you decide, gosh, I'm not going to be able to buy any boxers. Again, if you just want to make a um, donation to Bismarck Cancer Center, you can certainly do that. Um, we will share the silent auction. Um, so let's say you again aren't going to make it. We will share that ahead of time. There's usually some great items. And I know if you're like, I love auctions. I don't know why. It's a lot of stuff, obviously, that you're like, do I really need this? But you're like, it's so fun to be able to support somebody and then be like, I got a gift card or I got new dog dishes for the dogs that they probably didn't need. Something fun like that. Any insight, uh, Heather, onto some of the topics? Uh, generally, you've got, uh, you know, the boxes that are topically uh, featured. Uh, so any insight on uh, some of the ones that you're looking forward to seeing? Oh, we have some fun ones. We have a bushel tap handle that we're doing this year. Um we have the Wizard of Oz, which will be fun because it's always fun when we have a group of men that get together. Um, Clark the Lark will, of course, be making another appearance, which he's always a great model for us. Um, I, we have a Dr. McGillicuddy showing up. So a lot of fun themes. That's probably the most fun is coming to just see what everybody came up with and what ideas go with the boxers that they came up with, all of the different props that they did. And like uh, Sarah said, it is super fun in the essence. We're there to raise money for Bismarck Cancer, but everybody is just there to have a really good time and laugh a lot. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm not sure if you're e both of you are either aware of this or not, but I had Isaac Bugarian on with me from the uh, Larks and uh, just about an hour ago, and we talked about something they've got going on this year. They're selling hot dog water. Any of you interested in that now uh, this year? Although it is April 1st today, so I just want to throw that out there. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, uh, let's talk about tickets. Where can we get tickets for the event? Uh, you can uh, purchase them online at BismarckCancerCenter.com or you can purchase them at uh, the Cancer Center itself. You can stop by 8 to 5 Monday through Friday or they will be available at the door, but um, definitely a better deal to get those in advance. We have just a couple tables r remaining, so if you're on the fence, I would uh, purchase those tables and then you're guaranteed a spot to sit with your friends and you get some added benefits for purchasing a table as well. Excellent. And uh, Heather, you did say there's something new this year, right? The, there's a pre-party. Is that correct? There is. We're going to do a little happy hour. So for those people that just want to leave work and head right over to the Elks from 4 to 530, we will be up in the TR Lounge and we are going to have Crown Entertainment. Of course, Steve is going to be up there just playing some fun games and just um, getting, you know, a few cocktails in you so that you can, I guess, laugh harder and bid even more on those boys that'll be walking the runway. So just a great way for you to get upstairs and whether it's just meeting your friends ahead of time, whatever it will be, but it's uh four to five 30. We'll do that. And five 30, we'll still open the doors. So the main event is still going to kick off at five 30, but yeah, those people like me that love to like pregame before the pregame, this is what we're doing this year. All right. And for those that are interested that might be uh, wanting to maybe put a pair of boxers uh, in or maybe even model, who should they get a contact with? Uh, they can honestly, yeah, co contact either of us. Heather's kind of a man in the, manning the models, if you will. Um, but they can certainly reach out to the Cancer Center or McQuaid if they want to try their hand on putting together some boxers. Oh, no doubt Heather's keeping an eye on the models. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> Eighth annual <laughs> Boxers and Beer event again set for Thursday night, April 18th. Doors open 5.30, but don't forget that pre-party at the Bismarck Elks Lodge. Uh, Sarah, Heather, thank you so much for joining me here today on the KFOR Plus News Desk. Thanks for having us. Thanks, Jake. Absolutely. You got it. All right, it is now uh, 12.40. We'll take a short break here at the desk. We'll come right back with a look at your business and consumer news next.